Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on all of my houseplants. So let's get into the video. Start off strong with Senecio relianus. This plant is native to Southwest Africa. Um, it likes a drier climate and it is also known as string of pearls or string of beads. This is a really popular plant right now, so they are a little pricey. Um, I got this plant from our local uh, plant shop called Flora Fauna and it is absolutely beautiful and I'm obsessed with it. So a couple of tips for taking care of this guy. Um, as you can see here, let me do a nice close-up shot of these beads. So each of these beads have little lines on them. And when the lines begin to close up, you can tell that the plant needs water. Um, another way to tell that the plant needs water is to kind of gently squeeze the pearls. Uh, these pearls carry a lot of the water that is in the plant, so when the pearls become a softer, that is when you know you need to water. Another huge tip for this is to make sure that you're not watering from the top. That really destroys these plants. It's a great way to kill this plant. Uh, so fill up your sink, clog it, and then put this plant in that water, let it soak up all of the water, drain that water, let this drain, and then hang it back up and you'll have watered your string of pearls. This is Pilea involucrata. So a lot of the Pilea plants are really popular right now. This one is typically known as the friendship plant or the Moon Valley friendship plant. This plant is native to Central and South America and it really likes a lot of humidity. I've had this plant for about a year now and it started off as a little bitty baby. I got it from Home Depot um, and I transplanted it into I transplanted it into this glass container because these plants actually do really well as terrarium plants. They are very bushy and cute and I love this little guy. This is Pilea peperomia. It's also known as the Chinese money plant uh, because of these little coined-like um, leaves that you can see here. They're very flat and cute, um, kind of like little buttons. This is native to southern China at the foot of the Himalayas. This plant is relatively easy going. It just needs bright, indirect sunlight um, and it's very happy. Just make sure that you let the soil dry out completely before watering it. Um, so about one to two weeks. Um, and of course, if you are letting it spend more time in really bright light, then you'll need to be watering it more. This is one of my favorite plants. I think it is also a very trendy plant right now. And I think that it brings a little good luck everywhere it goes. This is Pilea cateri, and it is also known as the aluminum plant, probably because of the coloration that you can find here on the leaves. This plant is very cool. It gets very sad and droopy if it needs to be watered. Um, it's pretty easy to take care of. It is native to Vietnam and it really likes low light um, and you just need to make sure that you are checking the soil relatively frequently, ideally every day, to make sure that it isn't too sad too quickly. Um, this is my pothos. So, I grew all of these little guys from Bitty Baby Propagations. I will insert some pictures here so you guys can see where they started. Um, this plant has been repotted twice and Pothos, I say, is one of the easiest plants to grow as a beginner. I highly recommend this plant. It is easy to propagate if you're trying to do that for the very first time. Um, all you have to do is make sure that you're cutting below the nodes and then sticking them in some water and changing out the water every three to five days and you will get a happy, healthy, really full plant like this. 
Um, it is my pride and joy. It was one of my very first plants that I started with and it is growing and thriving so much. And these plants are really durable. Uh, you can do anything you want with them and they will pretty much stay happy. Low light, high light, everything. This is pink aglonema, also known as the Chinese evergreen plant. This plant is native to subtropical areas of Asia and New Guinea, and it is absolutely beautiful. This plant is really cool because it comes in a lot of different colors, so you can find it in a green, you can find it in a pink, kind of like what I have here, which is what drew me to this plant. Um, you can find it in a red, you can find it in all kinds of colors. It is an extremely colorful plant, really easy to take care of, very similar to pothos. Um, it just needs, you know, medium watering. Just stick your finger in the soil, make sure that it's good. Um, and it will throw like wildfire. Uh, it is so cute. It is definitely one of my favorite plants and it is a plant that was gifted to me for Valentine's Day. This is Sansevieria, also known as the snake plant or mother-in-law's tongue. This plant is another really great plant for beginners. You can find it at pretty much any big box store like Home Depot or Walmart. It is really durable. You can ignore it, you can leave it to die, and it'll probably still be there when you come back. It has really thick, strong, healthy leaves, and it really needs not a lot of sunlight. So low light is great for these plants. If you are just starting out, I highly recommend this plant. Camadoria elegans. It is also known as the Neanth bell palm or the parlor palm. These guys are extremely hardy plants. They're really beautiful. Usually they're a little bit bigger than this. I got mine as a little bitty baby. This one's from Walmart. It was only like $2.50 or something like that. Um, they're really easy to take care of. Again, just stick your finger in the soil, make sure it's good, um, keep it by a window and they will grow. These guys get really, really big. They are native to Southern Mexico. This is Schefflera, also known as the umbrella plant. It is so cute and really, really easy to grow. Um, it's very well loved because of the look of it. It kind of has these uh, finger-like um, <laughs> extremities in a way. And it is really good for um, having in a bedroom because it is known for its um, air purifying tendencies. It needs medium to high light. It is really, just so cute and easy to grow. This is Philodendra helicium. It is also known as the Philodendron heart leaf because of the shapes of its leaves. It is a really beautiful trailing plant for me right now that I put in this glass bowl that I found from Goodwill. It is native to Central America, very easy to grow, similar to pothos just need, needs medium light um, and good watering, very easy to propagate as well. Um, and I have had this plant for about two years now and she is growing really well. This is Colocasia gigantea, also known as the elephant ear plant. I got this bad boy from Home Depot and it has been thriving ever since I got it. Um, these plants are beautiful, widespread, known for their uh, veining in their leaves. Um, one of the best ways to take care of these plants is to make sure that you are spraying them regularly with a mister. Um, you know, stick your finger in the soil, make sure that it's, it's doing well and uh, make sure that you occasionally wipe down the leaves so that way you remove any kind of dust particles that would prevent photosynthesis. This plant is one of my absolute favorites. Um, another cool and interesting fact about this plant is that in some South 
Asian countries, the stalks are actually used as a vegetable for eating. This is alocasia. I think that it is one of the most striking and beautiful plants that I have. The leaves are so dark and beautiful and um, the contrast between the veins on these leaves are absolutely stunning. So these plants like bright indirect light um, and they tend to actually like their soil a little bit drier. So make sure in between waterings that you are letting the soil dry out completely before giving it another nice big gulp of water. These plants are really easy to grow. They're beautiful. Um, another detail about these plants is sometimes if they are not getting enough light, their leaves can get a little bit drippy. So if that's happening with yours, make sure that you move it to a nice bright window to make sure that it's feeling happy and taken care of. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but this guy has a new leaf coming in right over here. So I'm very excited. The other detail about these plants is that they also really like high humidity. So make sure you're spraying them relatively often and wiping down these leaves similar to the elephant ear to make sure that you're removing any kind of dust that's on them. This is Ficus slurata also known as the little fiddle leaf fig. It is really cute. It is a cousin to the larger fiddle leaf fig. This plant really likes to be misted. Make sure you're wiping down the leaves again and giving it plenty of water about once a week. Make sure that the water drains all the way through, um, through the drainage holes, and this should be good. This plant also really likes lots of light. So give it as much light as you can, but not direct light. Bright indirect light, it will be your best friend with these plants. And last but not least, this is my Monstera plant. It is a very popular plant. It's also known as the Swiss cheese plant. Um, it is a tropical plant. It loves a lot of humidity. It's a really beautiful plant. Um, pretty hardy, pretty easy to take care of. It does like bright or medium indirect light. These plants, once they do get a little bit bigger, are prone to drooping or you know, falling over, so it's best to stake them using some yarn. Make sure you're not using wood because that wood will rot when you water it. Um, speaking of watering, water it about one to two weeks depending on lighting um, and how quickly the soil dries out, but make sure that the soil dries out completely before watering it. Um, this plant is definitely one of my favorites and a plant that I actually took a propagation off of not that long ago. And so you can see right here, the place that I took the propagation off of is also growing roots. And I will show you guys what that propagation looks like right now because I will be planting that very soon. And that will be another one of my plant babies coming from its big mama right here. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me with my plant tour. They are all my babies. I love them all so much. I love them all relatively equally. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please be sure to leave them down below. Um, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, I will catch you guys next time. Bye.